we open with Virus X. Draped in its yellow protein capsid, it seeks out potential host cells to infect, take over, and propagate its own kind. It is very selective and wishes to find a complementary cell X to bind, matching glycoproteins via a lock and key mechanism. Is that going to be the perfect match? Mm, it doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, but wait! How about that cell? Oh yes, looks like it found a viable host, and with a mischievous smirk, it passes through the cell membrane and into cell X. Once inside, receptor proteins called endosomes, as illustrated by the receptionist, then willingly escorts virus X into the cell. The director of cell X, sensing the presence of the virus, sends out chemical messages called interferons, which warn surrounding cells of the virus. As virus X approaches its nucleus, it removes its protein capsid and prepares to infect. Cell X has no time to defend itself and is overpowered by virus X. Throughout this encounter, Cell X is completely helpless and overwhelmed by Virus X. Virus X is now ready to infect the cell. Okay. It injects its DNA into the nucleus and effectively takes over the protein synthesis machinery of Cell X. Once inside the nucleus, a virus replicates its genome by first synthesizing viral messenger RNA, or mRNA, through transcription. Next, viral mRNA leaves the nucleus and through translation creates new viral proteins. Lastly, viral proteins undergo further modification and processing in the Golgi apparatus. Complete copies of Virus X emerge out of the Golgi apparatus, ready to do what they do best. Virus replication is a continuous process until a cell can no longer contain all the copies being made. Thanks to Virus X's lysogenic nature, overcrowding of virus copies in the cell leads to the cell's ultimate destruction. Just as there are copies before them, these viruses are ready to go out and infect more cells. Looks like this virus X is ready to have some fun. It, not so much. Oh, wow.